My name is Caio Zampieri, and on my today's video, we're gonna talk about backhand slice. So, please, if you like this video, subscribe on my channel, Caio Zampieri Tennis, share with your friends and family, and don't forget to thumbs up, and click on the bell to get notifications on every video I post on my channel. Thank you, guys. Let's have some fun. I'm gonna give you some tips to keep in mind when you hit a backhand slice. First, the continental grip. So you're gonna hold your racket with the left hand in the heart of the racket. You're gonna open your right hand in the strings and you're gonna slide down. Hold it, close your hands. That's gonna be your slice backhand grip. Second important tip is to be on sideways position in the moment of the contact point. Another important thing on the slice, you have to start with a racket high and then you're gonna slice the ball through it. If you start with the racket low, this ball is gonna go up and leaving an easy shot to your opponent to attack you. Another important tip is to get your body low. Bend your knees because on the slice you have to hit the ball under and through it. If you don't bend your knees, you're probably going to use your wrist too much, open the head of your racket. It's for beginners. So if you don't know how to hit a slice, you can do this little exercise. It's going to help you to know at least the movement you have to do with your racket. So you face the net or the court, start with your racket up, hit and slide through the net. You can do this exercise for 10 times and you're gonna know exactly which movement you have to do when you hit the slice backhand. Three little tips for the slice backhand. First, racket over the shoulders, you slice through the ball and finish up high again. Look at the extension of my right arm. My arm will be completely extended after the contact point. This exercise is for beginners. You step on the service line with your front foot, put your left arm behind your back because this will lock your shoulders and leave you in the side position to hit the ball. In this next drill, you will start on the side position, use the front leg to acquire the necessary balance and after the contact point, you will do a karaoke step. This will put in the right position to do the slice backhand. Another slow motion video. So a few more tips for you guys. Um, the first thing I do when I'm going to hit a backhand slice is to rotate my shoulders and get the sideways position. Second thing, I step diagonally towards the ball with my right leg because I'm right handed. At the contact point, I'm completely sideways. I just return to my normal position after hitting the ball. This exercise can be done at any level. You will start in the side position. You will move between the cones and execute the slice in front of your body. Um, another important observation, notice how well my body is balanced. I'm not leaning forward to hit the ball. The slice is normally used for defensive balls, drop shots, change the pace, and can be used to call your opponent to the net also with a short lice cross court like Roger Feather always using this type of shot on his matches
drills for slice variations. Short slice calling an opponent to the net, deep cross slice to change the pace, and down the line slice when you want to change the direction of the ball. Simple exercise to change the pace. A backhand shot and a slice. If you manage to perform this during a match, you will make your opponent's life very difficult. You can do an exercise so you can play with your forehand. Executing a low slice so that the opponent can lift the ball and you can attack with your best shot. Another shot that's used is slice a lot is the approach, when the ball is short and low. If you can make a good deep slice, we will have a good position in the net to finish the points in the volley. Before I explain the next exercise, please pay attention to the fourth slice. I'm even thinking about to go back on the tour. It was beautiful slice down the line. The defensive slice. When you are on the run and without balance, you can save a lot of time to recover and have a good position to hit the next ball. And lastly, the contact point of the slice. Always in front of your body and this is a good exercise to train the contact point.